In this video, I'm going to show you custom HTML pages. Now, this is one of my favorite features. It allows the most customization, and you can do lots of awesome things with them using content from your WordPress site through the API or just static content that can work offline. So I'm going to show you how these work. I have a demo page here that has some custom toolbar links at the top. It has a single post from a events category. And if we click on it, it goes into the detail view. I have a slider that shows some speakers like from an event. And if I click on those, it'll go to the detail view. I also have three posts from my blog. And then I have some custom HTML content down here that links to uh, a Google map directions. So uh, I'm going to show you how I made this and also how you can make other custom pages. So if I go into the app customizer and click on custom pages, I'm going to go to add new page. Then I'm going to click on custom HTML and you'll see we just kind of have a blank slate here. So uh, to see what components I can actually use in the page, I'm going to go to the documentation for custom HTML pages. If you go to docs.appressor.com and just search for custom HTML, you'll see this custom HTML pages. It has some information towards the top on how they work. And I'm going to kind of go towards the bottom where there's some custom stuff. So for example, if I have, if I, uh, well, I can add normal HTML in this. So, um, you know, let me give it a title. I'm going to go demo page. I can put in just HTML tags here. Um, whatever you want to put in there is fine. You know, they can have a class equals custom P. Uh, and, but you can also add in Ionic tags and with AppPressor we have uh, some custom components. So I'm going to also show you those. Um, so to add in Ionic components, we are going to go into the Ionic documentation, which is at ionicframework.com forward slash docs. And if you click on components, you'll see that there are some uh, components that we can use here. Now, um, you want to look at the components that are strictly UI elements. Uh, so for example, a card, if I go to card header. So these are static elements and they are basically just UI, uh, like a card or an icon or a grid, um, things like that. Now, some of these components you can't really use, uh, for example, a, let me see. Um, like the navigation and uh, modals and like a radio, you know, input forms and things like that. Um, those actually are used in our apps, but you can't use those custom in HTML pages because they require JavaScript um, that, that would, to go along with it. So it just wouldn't work. Um, but anyways, let's focus on this. The As far as a card, if I wanted to add in, like for example, say this explore nearby card, I could actually copy this. and then paste it into my page here, and then I'm gonna save it. So uh, once I save this page, I have to add it to my menu. So I'm gonna go in here and add it, and I will give it an, an icon, and what's this one? And then I'm going to save it. And the HTML pages are actually embedded in your app. So you will have to rebuild the app to compile the HTML file and have it show up in your preview. So anytime you make a change to a custom HTML page, you will have to rebuild the app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on demo page and you'll see that I have my custom HTML, my, my paragraph tag here. And then I have that list with the uh, items in it here. And I could add custom links to those and things like that. So um, I'm actually going to show you how I created this page right here because it has even more advanced elements in it. So if I go to the, the page that I created, um, you'll see that I have the ion toolbar element, which is in the ionic documentation. Um, and then it has some columns and rows 
which is creating uh, this button here, these, these three buttons kind of next to each other. Um, and what I've done is added custom click actions on those. So for example, if I click this one here, it's going to actually open a different page in my app. Um, the other two will open external websites. I have it opening appresser.com and it, it, this would happen in the in-app browser. Um, so if you wanted to add these custom uh, links on these elements, you can do that. Um, so the next thing that I did was added a, I added a header and then I added the list. So um, let me talk about this. If you look in our HTML documentation, you'll see that under WP API lists and sliders, we have a custom component that is going to pull in posts from your API and put them in a list um, display. <clears throat> now, uh, this is very powerful because you can actually uh, customize this really heavily. So it allows you to do very, very custom layouts. And it's similar to a list page. So if I were to go to WP API list here, this is uh, basically what we're embedding in our custom HTML page. It's the same type of thing. So let me go back to custom HTML page. So you'll see that we have this list and you can add in a couple of parameters here. Um, the the uh, required input is the route. So this is gonna be the full WP API route. And you can add uh, query parameters such as per page or category or things like that. And you can look up in the WP API documentation um, many of those parameters that you can use, but essentially you can customize what is going to be displayed in the list. So in this example, I put per page one because I only want to display one post from this. <clears throat> Essentially, I'm showing the, uh, the, the newest event from this list of posts, and it's using my endpoint for events, which is uh, this full URL here. So I add that in, and what I, uh, so let me show you that. So that basically just displays this. I, I added a little bit of custom CSS for this upcoming events to be smaller, and then I show the post there. And then I wanted to show some speakers. So to do that, I use the AP slider component. So if you look in our documentation again, you can use the AP slider, which is the same thing as a list. It's just gonna show your posts in a slider instead of in a list view. So with the slider, there are lots more inputs you can use. Uh, you can choose to show the pager, which is these little bullets, dots right here. Um, and there's different ways to display that pager. You can have them loop, change the effect when the, the slide changes, uh, free mode, things like that. You can play around with those and you, there's an example here of how to use those. Um, so when I did that here, I put the slider in and I added my route and then I put it inside of a card. You can see here and that gives it kind of a, just a, a cool display. Um, and then at the bottom, I did another list with three posts also inside of a card. And at the bottom, this is just some custom HTML. And you can uh, see the actual, the actual code for that page here. If you click on, um, go towards the top of this documentation, and there's a little link that will click you to a gist that will actually show you the exact code that I use. So you can use that in your app. So that is the custom HTML page. Um, other cool things you can do is you can actually embed Google Maps in here by just copying and pasting the embed code. Um, and uh, essentially lots of other HTML, you can create lots of custom layouts here. So enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.